Okay, today we're working on a 5R110W uh, out of an 03 Ford F350 Super Duty Diesel 6.0. Uh, this vehicle came in our shop for failed diodes, which is a very common problem with these units. And uh, we rebuilt the transmission. Uh, we went ahead and put a, uh, all the replace all the wanted damaged parts in the case. And we put a new solenoid body in it, which you have to do on these things. There's really not a valve body, it's called a solenoid body. Um, and when we got done doing it, we drove it and it worked great. It was beautiful until it got up on the interstate and we had no torque converter clutch applied and storing P1744 with the overdrive off light flashing. Um, we have also put a brand new torque converter in it, which I'll show you right here. So with the solenoid body, the rebuild, and the torque converter replacement, we felt pretty confident everything was good. Uh, we had to take the transmission back out of the truck, as you can see right here, and we tore down the pump, uh, suspecting a problem in there, and we found a problem with the torque converter clutch valve, which is located right here. I'll show you a picture of that um, in the book right here, this valve right here, and we found a problem with the spring. Uh, somebody had been in this thing before and changed the spring for this valve, which is called the converter clutch valve spring number four right there this is what we found when we took it out we took the lineup out and we found this spring right here which does not fit on the uh, seat of the uh, booster right and also does not fit on the seat of the, uh, the valve itself very good so when we took that out we we kind of realized that that didn't, didn't work right not to mention uh, we noticed this valve would travel very little, if at all. It wouldn't, it wouldn't open or shut any of the gates right here. It would travel maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. So we were fortunate enough to get another stator, and when we got it, we took that valve apart, same valve, and we noticed that the spring was completely different. And as you can see, this spring right here will fit over this much better than the other one. And of course it fits in the uh, seat of the valve right here, much better. And when you put it in, of course this valve travels much easier than the, uh, than the other one did. So we feel like that this valve not being able to travel and open or shut passageways in the stator right here was most likely the problem. And let me show you a good way to check these things. Now the way you check these things is you weigh them. You weigh your springs. I'll show you how we do that. Uh, we have some syringes we got from a veterinarian, and we marked off about a half of an inch right here on the syringe. Uh, we dropped the spring, we put it on the end of the syringe right here. I'm going to put that on there for me, right? The spring, the, the white spring. Again, stick it in the syringe right there. Sorry. And then what we'll do is we'll compress it the half inch right here that we're doing. And when we compress it that half inch, you'll see what it weighs right there. And it weighs right around two and a half pounds. That's the working pressure. So you compress it about a half inch in a veterinarian syringe, and you measure the weight of it. It's weighing the springs. So we know the working pressure of the spring, when it's about a half inch compressed, is around two and a half pounds. So if we need to find another spring, uh, because we're bar we borrowed this stator, so we need to find the right spring for this one. We're going to get in here and do the same thing. We're going to find a spring that fits over the booster and fits in the seat really good. And we're going to measure and compress it about a half inch. And we're going to see that it weighs around two and a half pounds. And we know we got the right tension in there. This spring is completely different. Like I said, it would not allow this valve to move. And probably is what the problem is for the 1744 code. We don't know how the spring got in there. We certainly didn't do it. It was like that when it came in the door. Uh, but in this business, hey, you never know who's been in these units and what they've done. So hopefully this is going to fix this P1744 code in this 034 F350. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a great day.